inside my skull and, you know, that's tiring stuff. It's such a shame to do all the work and then for the nerves to, to, to destroy it, you know? That, that would be such a terrible shame that I, I just know what I'm like with the piano and it's such a, it's such a big risk, you know, the, the risk of sort of totally humiliating yourself. After 25 years, can Sue face her musical nemesis and finally conquer her fears of self-worth?
god. See, now I understand what we do it, because it was really frightening. It was quite an offender, and I'm not quite like to do it again now. So I've never had before. I really, I really, I don't know, I really, I really lost myself in that. So I don't know, I don't know if it was any good, but it was the best I could do, and that's, that's going to be enough, I think. Which will be a first. She must have found a way to really channel the nerves and, you know, her playing was, it was expressive. She had everybody with her. I mean, you could feel that the audience were really attentive and concentrating and that's down to her, you know, it doesn't just happen. Well, I thought it was exceptionally good. I enjoyed it very much. Incredibly impressive that so to play to that standard, it was quite amazing. I really enjoyed her playing. I really felt she conveyed something of the atmosphere of the piece. You had us in the palm of your hand the whole time. Really? Oh, yeah, my heart went for every note that, that, oh, that you played. It was amazing. When we met, it was clear that she wasn't very comfortable about showing her feelings or showing any part of her other than the Sue Perkins that she likes to put, put out there. Um, but I really feel that we, we got a piece of her today. You know, so much of it was coming from you. It was like just pure source material that was coming from you. It was just, okay. it was yeah. so, so, you know, I was enraptured. I was absolutely, you know, I think we all fell in love with you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I've got a dressing room, let's go. <laughs> the piano is an amazing instrument. I mean, the, the possibilities with, with the piano are really endless. I do hope she'll carry on playing, you know, after what it's taken for her to, to get to this stage and to do what she did today. It's all wound up with these uh, other experiences and, and thoughts from, from the past that, you know, if we've managed to untangle some of that from what really matters, then, yeah, then that's, that's made the whole thing really worthwhile. I think I'll go home and I'll genuinely feel something really shifted, you know. I just focused on people I loved, actually. I was thinking about um, Melanie, my, my lovely friend Mel. I was thinking about my mum and dad, who'd be really proud, actually. And I just sort of was sat here before and I thought, whatever you do, just be in it, be in it, be in it. And, and, I, and I was, and I'm really pleased, you know, because it was sort of... It doesn't have to be the best interpretation in the world, but it is my interpretation, and I sort of feel I owned that, so that's all right by me, you know. And I can't now remember the sound of which here you knew me, and I can't remember her face, and I can't remember the rapture of the crowd, and I can't remember my own shame and disappointment. And I see that experience for what it is, you know. It's not a race, it's not a competition. Some people are always better, and some people are always worse. But all you can do is sort of be true to your own sort of sense of musicality and to your own sort of emotional truth, and, and that's, I did the best that I could with that today, and that's cool. going to play a duet as an encore in Cheltenham, by the way. Off to you.